Our old chap, King Charles I of England, was thinking long and hard about what possible countries and continents he could colonize. His serfs, <clears throat> I mean he himself, King Charles, got to work brainstorming ways in which he can pick only the brightest of the continents. And then it hit him. A competition. Four continents take their stance. Who will win? It's the Bachelor, Colonizer Edition. Let's meet our Bachelor. What's up? I'm King Charles, first in England. I'm ready to meet these lovely countries. Excuse me, Charles. Um, they're refusing to come. They don't want to come? I don't care about that chop sentiment. What's up? I'm India. I'm home to one of the biggest, most successful trading routes in the early world. Plus, I've also got some pretty cool religions. I've got Islam, I've got Buddhism, I've got Hinduism. Right, well, I'm definitely more of a Christianity guy myself. English Christian, not that uh, Roman stuff. So no, I don't really think that's gonna work out at well. Do I have to say it? Just go. Hi, I'm North America and I'm looking for love. I have an abundance of prosperous lands to cultivate and um, I'm literally already populated, so I- Hello, what's up? I'm Australia and I'm looking for love. Wait, I thought this was a nature documentary. Well, Australia can help Britain gain port and naval base ships out in the Pacific. Plus, I'm 2.97 million times bigger than America. Let's be real here, I, I'm much better. Hi, I'm Africa. Africa, what are some of your positive qualities? Well, I have an abundance of natural resources, mineral wealth, and an expanding market. Well, I can definitely work with that. It was an offering. Free. Next! I've prepared myself a speech for you lovely young ladies. Listen, I know you guys don't want me, but I got news for you. You're never gonna make it on your own in the real world. I can offer you financial support, economic prosperity, and crown. You know, thing about an Englishman, you never make it the crown. Wait, wait, so financial support, economic prosperity, increased trade, and offer you some European ideas. You probably haven't heard of it, so. A little bit on the ground. We're low key. Hella technologically advanced. Right, I'm gonna be straight. Hold up, why have me bum? But work, so let's just go with it. Now it's time for Charles to get to know these contestants. I gotta testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day I so, India, what sets you apart from the other contestants? Well, I can add some spice to your life. He doesn't even understand my advanced sense of humor. No, but for real, I have like a plethora of natural resources and they're extremely valuable. So we can make a few um, exports to Britain and you'll basically be rich. Uh, I do like money. Definitely appealing, definitely appealing, but I'm gonna need to do some converting Christianity if you catch my drift. Boy, if you don't get those tragic, ugly, nail bitten, pale, flaky, dry skinned fingers away from me, you don't even know what will hit you. Mommy! Well, I know who's gonna get the rose tonight. Well, absolutely no chemistry is there. Let's try the next contestant. Supposed to be romantic, but I'm trying to pop open a nice cold one and get down to business. Why don't we get some uh, tea and crumpets to the table, huh? With the state of those crusty yellow British teeth of yours, I don't even know you'd be able to break through them. I know Australia would help me out with some sea by trading. By God, she's stupid. Not my cup of tea. That's a little tosh, ain't it, mate? Just tell me what you got to offer. I don't really want to do this. To be completely honest, mate, I really don't know. I mean, I got some kangaroos you can hop by and a little ride around. I got some spiders you could cuddle with at night. All I can do for you is I can just keep the prisoners you want in Britain and Australia. Sounds like a good prospect. I'll be out of here. Well, we just got word of a new guest contestant ready to join our show. I've been sent on a little date right now. <laughs>
We drove far and wide to find the kingdom of this mystery contestant. Where are we go. What's up, baby girl? I'm France. I'm a huge empire. You look quite dopper. Thanks. Alright, Brayden, you can't colonize me. I'm really sad to see France go, but uh I gotta shut down their revolution over there, you know? Monarchies, you know, you gotta have them. Flashing lights, 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 lights. Flashing All right, let's get this over with. Okay, so what's for lunch today? Fish and chips. Again. We've been here for two days, and we've eaten fish and chips for every single meal. What's your favorite food? Let me start off with what I can offer you, because I know what you're prosperous land, uh, workforce, and a lot of gold, and most importantly, home for my disease. Right, anyways, I can offer you technology. You know what that is, sweetheart? It's like, uh, it's like weapons, compasses, mops, practically anything your primitive little minds could conjure up, I got. Okay. I think we make a great team. Right, right. Well, I think so as well. I think I'll see you at the uh, the elimination. Is this where we talk about my attributes? Or... Can you shut up? I'm trying to watch a movie. Are we supposed to Our talk? Our side movie number three. Are there any other options? Well, soft movie number one or two. I don't really fancy the other two. I think I'm gonna go with silent movie number three. Anyways, as mate, are you mad so? I'm trying to watch the silent movie here. Shut your trap. It's a silent movie, there's nothing to hear. All right, tell me what you got then. I bet you're a bad kid. What? Actually, I do play the uh, saxophone as a bit of a side gig. It's time for the bachelor to pick his colony. I'm gonna be honest, this thing really drove me to pieces. Y'all lovely. Most of you are lovely. Australia. But there can only be one. That's the, that's the, that's the whole shtick. There can only be one place to exploit, to get resources, to industrialize. And that's why I've made, had to make a very, very hard decision. Africa? Get out. Australia, y'all didn't know the answer. Go on, just get out of And now it comes down to our final two contestants. Uh, North America and India, the other one. The winner is... North America. Don't go yet. I'm going to colonize each and every one of these countries. There's going to be no, no rules anymore. I know I was only supposed to colonize one. Big deal, all right? I, I need all of them. They are the tea to my crumpets. They are the fish to my chips. And I wanted to colonize them all. Australia can just go wherever. I don't care about them. Simple as that. The fish aren't going to chip themselves. And the chips aren't going to fish themselves either. There's no tea without crumpets, and these, and I am the tea to their. I gotta testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day I die, I'm a tough guy. Gotta testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day I die.